Hi everyone, just wanted to let you know what I've been doing off camera. So I went ahead and used up some of my old paint from previous pours. So that's one. Actually turned out pretty cool, a little odd, but okay. Um, and this is my second one. This was from the previous pour this morning with the Deco Arts. Um, plus I had some from last weekend as well. So that's that one. That one ended up getting scraped. This is one from earlier today, and this one from earlier today, as well as, let's take you over here. I have this one from earlier today, which is kind of turning out a little bit different than what I was expecting. They're coming out of, some of the other colors are popping out. That should have popped out. But still think it looks like a lightning streak in the sky but that's me so that's what I see could call that one lightning streak so hang on one second sorry for the darkness I want to get my phone all full of paint so let's get you on the tripod okay good going okay so what we're doing now is we're gonna do a ring pour with some Arteza paints. So I have Peruvian Blue um, and Rose, as well as Titanium White. And then I have these other two paints that are from Luminaire. Um, one is a bronze, one is a copper. They were a gift from somebody. So I'm not really, that's really not a color I would use, but we're gonna give it a whirl and see how that goes. So I already have the white started in the bottom of the cup. I'm just gonna go ahead and layer some colors. I don't have a very thick consistency with this. And then I have this rose color that I wasn't really happy with, so I added some other colors to it, added a violet. And so we'll see how that one goes hoping it's it's okay because like I said my consistency with my paints is not very thick hope hope it works I have put some paint on the canvas just literally because I have a lot of paint here to make sure I had some flow going. Okay. I'm not really sure about how that rose violet color is gonna go. Might turn out to be my best pour of the day. It is my last of the day, so we're good there. try and go and enjoy some of the day. It is absolutely gorgeous out. Oops, I don't know what that was. It'll come out in the bottom and clump right in the middle. I'm sure. Okay. Let me move these out of the way. want to become good with a with a ring pour we got to master it so oops oh yeah I spilled half of the bronze on the table earlier Let's see if that works all right here we go and I probably won't be talking or breathing so breathing but I 
haven't done a lot with my Arteza paints. I do have several of them, but I don't really I've been trying to use up everything else that I have first. the gardeners here so I will have to move my stuff out of the driveway. I hope the titanium white that I'm using actually makes a cloud effect. That would be really cool. I kind of dig that. I don't want it to move and blend together here either. Closer to the canvas. I still got about a half a cup to go. Okay. It's the red button on the garage door opener that makes it go up and down. There's okay. a blue button, but that doesn't do anything. I'm okay. I'll be back in about an hour. Okay. I didn't put too much white in the bottom of the cup because I wanted a pretty big white center, but oh, and I dribbled all the way across. All right, so sorry. I have a lot of street noise. I'm in a garage, so. There we go. All right, let's torch, because maybe that'll make a difference. Maybe that'll make the difference, I don't know. I wasn't going to have enough paint. I don't have enough paint.
Oh, the copper's gorgeous. Copper bronze. It's oh, oh, gorgeous. Okay. Wow. That went fast, actually. Let me see if I can get some of this back that way. A lot of white, but... My fault for putting all that white in the middle of the bottom of the cup. Okay. Wow. Actually, way cool. Way cool. Cell action already up there. Cell action down here already, too. Wow. I'm afraid to take you down and show you the can show you because freaking paintings keep running off the sides. Let me Oh, that copper and that blue together is gorgeous. The pink didn't stay, the violet didn't really stay too much, but this, it's a lot of white over here, but it's okay. The only other option I have is to see if I can get some of the white off the canvas this way. I should be able to. It's just a lot of white. I don't really, that wasn't my goal. But if the other colors pop through, then maybe that'll be okay. So I can see they're kind of popping through already. Maybe I should torch it one more time and then take you down. Torch at the beginning, torch at the end, maybe. Yeah. No, no, I mean, just be able to just push. It should be. Oh, she did lock up. <laughs> the gardener's here. Okay, so let's take a peek. Let's see. Yeah, those colors are peeking through in all those little cells up there. That comes from my base paint. the blue. Still think there's a little too much white and I might just fiddle with it after I'm done. But since the gardener's here, I don't want to compete with the weed whackers. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell. Make sure you get future notifications from me. I have a PayPal me link at the bottom. Would really appreciate it if you'd like to help keep the painting going. That would be fantastic. So until the next video, have a great day. Bye.